Hi Ann, this is Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer. Um, you had sent me an email asking how you could produce a PDF file of all of 2014 transactions. So I want to take a minute to uh, show you how you can do this. So within QuickBooks, go to Reports, come down to Account It and Taxes, and then come down to General Ledger. Now you'll set your date range here to be last fiscal year, most likely. Um, or you could just type in the date range here if you wanted to. 1 1 14 through 12 31 14. Now I don't have any transactions in the year 2014, so I'll actually set mine to be um, this fiscal year. So you see some transactions. You may want to adjust a few of these columns. So for instance, if we go to the name column, see how my cursor turns into a little crosshair? When it does that, if you left click and hold it down, you can widen these columns. And I, I would do that for the memo column as well. I would do that for the, uh, the general ledger account numbers as well. This adjust column, we don't need it. So if I, again, left click and hold it down and drag it to the left of the, of the left justified diamond, it'll get rid of it. And then I just scroll down to make sure that my columns are wide enough, that I don't need to make them any wider. You may want to adjust the size of the window or even make it full screen. All right, so right here, it looks like this one could be a little wider. All right, so once I am satisfied that everything looks as um, I would expect it, I'll simply click on um, Print, Save as PDF, and then you know, make a note as to where you're saving it to or put it in the folder where you want it to be. And I'm just going to overwrite this file called test, but you can see that that is an Adobe um, uh, Acrobat document, which is a PDF document. I'll say yes, I want to replace it. And then with that done, if I scroll, or not scroll, if I navigate to the location of that uh, PDF file, and open it I will see indeed it's very legible all right um, let's see is there anything else I need to tell you about this the other thing you could do is you could email it to them and send it as a PDF so that would be email send report as PDF okay and uh, it's pretty much the same step when well, no, I shouldn't say it's the same steps um, Fill in this information, maybe you know, change the text to be something that's more personal to say you know, attaches the PDF of the 2014 transactions. Um, but, but what it's going to do is when it sends it, it will attach this report as a PDF file. You could also carbon copy yourself on it if you wanted to as well, so you get a copy of what was sent. All right, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any more questions.